He is a wind-up toy made by Mar. As your choir. We inherited him. You inherited him? Does he work? A little, yes. One, two. Well, he is doping. He's on it. On each bank, right? Wind it a few more times. Right? Keep winding it. There you go. Yeah. Just a little slow to Push start. me, I'm coming, dopey. That's right. Uh, he's not bad. Yeah, the eyes are working. He's Sleep, he would be asleep by the time he got going. Yeah. Anyway, Seven Dwarfs, of course, is the first feature film in 1940 by Walt Disney. And Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a major, is a major step forward, a leap even, in American cinematography and, of course, animation films, feature films. Um, my first Disney film was 101 Dalmatians. So that will date you, will date me a little bit. This particular um, piece is one of them. Oh, now we move over. There we go. Eyes are moving. Maybe. One, two, three. He didn't like the table. His eyes are moving too. Pretty cool. Now he's like, okay, I'm done. He's worn out. It's like me. He hasn't the moved that much in years. He hasn't moved that much in years? Me either. <laughs> Walt Disney toys are very collectible. So are wind-up toys. And the other thing is, the toy market is very emotional. We love our toys, we think of our toys as nice as childhood. And when we get older, we have enough money to replace them. So we spend a lot of money on antique and vintage toys. It's a market where they're gonna get you at the heart. They're gonna go right for your heartstrings. It's five million dollars for that toy. Cause you loved it. And you're like, oh, I could get five million dollars. I really need to have that stuffed animal again. You know what I mean? They're ready to get you, so be careful with the toys. This particular one is quite rare. Do you have any of the others? Yeah. You need the whole set. Don't you want the whole set? But Dopey is pretty popular. Dopey has a secondary market value of just around $550. Oh, wow. Yeah, as long as it's working and moving, yeah. moving and shaking, you're all right. Thank you so much. My pleasure, babe. We added a different train to the Disneyland Express. Yard sale. Yeah. This is an Ives train made by the Ives Company out of Connecticut. Value on this is about 125 just for the train, okay? The rest of these are lithograph tin made in New York by the Mar Company, the same company that made Dopey over there. Value on this particular piece anywhere between $75 and $95. He's a whole nother, oh my God, what happened to Pinocchio, Dwight? Dwight, we don't even have his nose anymore. His head has become severed from his body. He's been, in the uh, China, he's been in the China capital for years. He's been in the China capital. And um, Jiminy Cricket just went out his nose. Right? Wow. That is not very good. Geppetto's going to have to get busy. Right? Look at him. Made it clear, though. <laughs> not good. Not good. All right. So we got, of course, Pinocchio, who dates, of course, to the middle decades of the 20th century, and he's a puppet. Well, he was a puppet. Well, all right, this part's a puppet. <laughs> this part's yeah, just yeah. a head. No. Okay, you see the China cabinet, and you talk about it's been in the China cabinet for all those years, right? Yes. Um, this particular piece, of course, is made by Walt Disney Enterprises, which means this is made right in the United States. Okay. Now, dates to, again, that those middle years, those war years. Now, here's the problem with Pinocchio. That China closet gets really hot. It gets hot like a greenhouse. Right? So, the heat does all of the damage. Everyone's worried about dust in the China closet. Make sure it's not dusty. Make sure the dirt doesn't get in. Close the doors, close the doors, but you're keeping all of the heat in. You're not letting any air flow. So if it's sitting in that China cabinet, and God forbid you have the lights inside the China cabinet that light up the whole thing, then it's like a really hot China cabinet. I call those menopause China cabinets. <laughs> really hot. Then what you're looking at is you're looking at, again, this is what happens to a composition matter object, right, that then has been painted with oil paint. Okay. Value on this in good condition, about $175. In this condition, about half, okay. right? So you're looking at somewhere around 85, 90 bucks. Okay. Thank you. But he's still cool, huh?